take a look at our spare. Oops. Uh oh. Alright, welcome back party people. I am here today to discuss a Ford Transit hack and uh, this hack is for actually removing and reinstalling the spare tire that exists up under the van. If you're like me, I've actually covered the access point down here um, trying to maximize the living space of the van. So I have these bi bicycle trays that uh, I've installed in the van. This particular tray on the right side actually covers up the access point, and I'll show you that. Um, you can see the access hole here, and where the tray meets, um, there's two pieces, three pieces of wood joined there. So there's no way I could drill a hole in there to access this, which was my original plan. But after I started to adjust the size of the actual tray on this side to fit this motorcycle, I realized that in order to um, get to these L brackets installed and have enough room up against the wheel well there that I needed to push the tray over this way some, uh, which my original intent was to leave this, this area open or either build it wide enough where I could actually drill an access hole through there. But um, so what I've done is try to come up with a solution. Now what Ford wants you to do is actually use your lug wrench and it even has a, a little uh, picture here on how to use this. But basically you insert the flat end into the receptacle there and you just kind of crank this thing kind of clockwise to let the tire down, clockwise to bring the tire back up. Well, um, obviously I can't use that and so the first thought that came to my mind is oh, this is pretty pretty easy i can go get a piece of uh, flat aluminum or flat metal um, about the width of the end of this and just kind of bend it and make an, a little l l shaped uh, tool that would go in and actually work there but just going through my tool chest one day i realized that i probably had something that may be able to work and what i've come across is this is the actual spark plug um, socket wrench that I use and it just so happens it has one of these flexible heads on it and it's it's curved at the end and it looked like and it ratchets which is obviously good because I can then kind of get in here and do this number on it so this particular uh, ratchet that I already had which I wanted to use because I definitely didn't want to invest in something new if I didn't have to has a 3 8 uh, driver on it and that 3 8 driver is too small to actually fit and so um, just looking around at uh, some of the uh, adapters I have, this is a 3 8 to 1 half inch adapter. And this square piece actually fits in that um, receptacle beautifully. And uh, it will grab just enough to actually move that uh, pulley system to get your tire down and up. And it works great. Now... There's also some low profile ones, which will help you uh, if you want to use this kind of solution, right? But I only have so much clearance between here. Um, but what this, uh, the head on this driver, this ratchet is fairly slim. So really all I had to do was actually put this 3 8 to half inch extension on the, uh, on this spark plug wrench. And um, the second thing that I have to do is So this is the lid that covers the access hole and it's just a little plastic lid and it pops out and that will give you actually more access space. Just a ring in the inside and, and it has the lid and it sits in there and it lets you access the, uh, the area by flipping this lid up. So I just pop the entire piece out and I can get my ratchet actually inside that hole by just maneuvering the head. I turn it sideways like this and then flip it in and uh, and then basically you have a a ratchet system here depending on what you want to do so if I want to let the tire down pretty easy to do I think it's much easier than the actual system 
Let's get you a look under the vehicle. And you can see the tire is almost to the ground now. So uh, you look up under there. So pretty efficient. And then to uh, just change the ratchet back to tighten. that and uh, basically I just carry this around in the same toolkit where the uh, lug wrench and the uh, jack handle is and always have it with me and it's multi-purpose I can work on my uh, my vehicle with this as well and something I already had and it seems to work great now the other thing too if you can if you want to you can pop this back in um, it pops out fairly easy um, for all the people that are concerned about dirt and debris getting in there, which I am not, but yeah. So there's your hack, and I can say it's probably uh, much quicker. All right. So now when I I just stow this along with my my regular tools, so let's put our lug wrench back in. Put this up inside there. They'll curl these bad babies back down. All right, so maybe that little uh, spare tire hack will actually help somebody out. Even if you don't cover the hole, it's probably an easier method to use one of those uh, ratchet wrenches than actually spinning around that kind of odd shaped uh, lug wrench. So. Let me know in the comments down below if uh, you have a better solution to this problem. All right, that'll do it for this video. If you like the content, give me a thumbs up. Click on that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to the channel. Lots of van life type uh, content as well as mountain biking, adventuring, kayaking, um, all those adventure sports. Uh, I love to do them and try to get out and do those as much as possible. Share the link with your friends. Click that post notification bell just beside the subscribe button and you'll get notified of all my new uploads. Till next time. Skill up and ride, van up and go.